Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Alex, real quick, what episode is this off the top of your head? Do you know? 44. 44 for the 44th Easy Achievers episode. I am I one of you. Is that? Oh, I'm going to have to check in a second. I am one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, as always, virtually, is my dear friend, Alex. How are you? Hello, everyone. How are you, Alex? I'm good. I'm I'm, I'm good. Oh, as as always, having these technical issues. Of course, of course. And if you're wondering, he's like, oh my god, he sounds like he's talking through a normal microphone. Well, he is. Yep. <laughs> he very Whoa, much is. And Alex, I am happy to tell you mm. that your guess was correct. We are on episode forty-four. Ooh, that was great. Mm. Yes, yes. The last one was forty-three. So, in I believe numerical order. The next one should be 44. But enough about numbers, Alex. We run a video game podcast where we release every single Friday over on the podcast service of your choosing and YouTube. And don't worry, if you like us, you can help us out. You can go over to patreon.com slash You can give us a buck. That gives you an exclusive podcast every single month. That also gives you episodes early. Helps us out. Keeps the mics on, the lights on. Alex's dog's fed. I think you just heard one of them sneeze in the background. I yeah. think it just sneezed again. Possibly? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they're, well, they're doing that thing, you know, where you you take them outside. They don't want to, like, play around. They just, like, run for a second, and then they stop, and then they whine at the door. So I let them in, <laughs> and then they want to be in the living room and start going nuts and start wrestling like Spartans. And it killed me because I'm like, why don't you do this outside? <laughs> They're bored. They they they're like, oh, the outside sucks. The inside's warm. Yeah, it's, it's a, which, like it's like okay. Which is funny. Your your dogs do seem to like the outdoors. No, no, yeah, for sure. Every time I'm like, you want to go outside, they start freaking out and run to the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is strange that they prefer the inside. But enough about Alex's dogs. <laughs> enough, Alex, about your dogs. Okay. No. Just man. enough. <laughs> just enough all right if you're a freeloader don't worry we are too you can give us five stars you can like us everywhere it helps us out you can give us the youtube comments you can discuss your thoughts with us of course over on all of our socials if we have an opinion and you hate it please tell us on twitter at evm9000 at crazy skater alex will call you a slur if you tweet at him that's what he just said he just said he would so he will he will call you a slur if you'd like yes <laughs> alex we got a big news week uh, to be perfectly honest, not not too many news, actual news stories of consequence, but there's a lot of things to discuss and talk about, which I'm very excited for. But Alex, before we get into that, I have one single question to ask you. What? What have you been playing? So we played a little something, a little something, which some. we which which we both a thousand, a thousand, ladies and gentlemen, a thousand and a hundred percent, which is kind of rare these days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we played a good old game called Manny. Manny, I ate man. Dude, I was enjoying this game. I had so a fun much. game. I had a fun. I had a great time actually with this game. Um, were you Were you surprised? Oh yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I it, it, for context for people, I didn't play this game for like the first three days. I think of launch because yeah. I was like, oh, it's a shark game. Like, looks looks yeah, cool, it's but niche, I, it's like some it's some niche title. Yeah, it looks cool, but whatever. I, I don't think. I, and then I kind of saw what you do in the game. Mm -hmm. through a twitch stream from i believe it was snowbike mike i think is who i was watching and i was like okay let me try this out and then it started the game and i was like okay i can get in this i can get in this alex what was your pur purview did you play day one how, how was that yes. explain yeah, your I'm... this has been your game for since yes. since we've started this podcast i don't know if you remember i want i believe one of the i think the first if not second episode maybe I don't remember it was, around, it was definitely around e3 because that's when we seen it. it was around that time and i always saw i was like oh there's a shark game called man eater i'm gonna check this and out and you showed it to me and i looked at it i don't think there was gameplay i think it was just a trailer but they, um, they got the trailer yeah and then later on it showed some gameplay of a shark just tearing people up yeah and i was like this seems strange and cool at the same time i was so skeptical i was like is this gonna be good because it definitely didn't look good but man, did it come out great! Now, Alex, tell me how was the, how did the adventure with this game go for you? So I started out, uh, you know, the so far, the, like even the main menu, I enjoyed because it has that like that Jaws feel, like with the music and stuff. And all you see is like for people who haven't played Man Eater, the main menu, 
it's like this it's like the side of the beach like with the what would you call a shoreline yeah yeah this right at the shoreline yeah and you just see like you just see like the fin pass by and you see people on the beach and i'm like oh okay this is interesting i, I like that the uh, the menu is like you know it looks the way it is i start the game and use it's the, the game the way it starts it's like at first i'm like what's going on and then uh, you can see where it's leading and it's so much fun on how they make you progress with your shark and everything. It's it was a lot of fun. I was shocked how much I cared about the story. I'd be straight yeah. up honest <laughs> with everyone that's listening. I thought this was gonna be a dumbass game where I was a shark and I ate people. I literally got engrossed into what was actually happening. I wanted to know what was happening with Scaly Pete, which is a crazy sentence to even utter out of my mouth. <laughs> it was so in, uh, enthralling for me. My girlfriend actually wanted to watch the cutscenes with me so like mm-hmm. was she every time there was a cutscene i'd call her in she'd come in watch it with me and she she liked it she liked watching uh, the actual little cutscenes which were really fun um uh, the story is super fun just eating stuff is fun uh i don't know what i don't know what it did i don't know if it was the achievement bug alex mm-hmm. i think it was the achievement bug that aided in this hundred percent or if it was just that satisfying to get everything but yeah. man i couldn't stop couldn't stop Dude, same. it was one of those games where like you know like there's certain games that you play and you're like man there's so much stuff or like i, I don't want to do this right now i don't want to get all this stuff but with this game dude i was just swimming catching stuff getting caches license plates I mean, which by the way those are the collectibles in the game yeah those are the collectibles uh, license plates you bite them to get them yeah like it's it was so fun like i like i'd i like do the sonar thing and it would just like i'd see all the bunch of stuff i'm like oh okay there's another one let me go ahead and do stuff by the way my wife hates the sonar nowadays because i would do it like every like five seconds i wasn't a huge fan because (laughs) because when you're when you go collectible hunting i I should have done this while i was exploring the first time i had to double back in most areas and do uh, yeah, the and do the hit B over and over again to ping uh, the sonar repeatedly until I saw. Yeah. And it gets old. <laughs> it gets old I after a while. I, I did the thing where I didn't leave that that for that area until I got everything that I could. Right. So I did everything that I could, and uh, other than the certain gates that you couldn't do, and I kept pinging. I kept uh, pinging every time, and my my wife was like, "Oh my god, stop with the pinging." Mm-hmm. I loved um, um I loved that you could fight the apex predators in every area. That yeah, was a fun little cool. challenge thing. Um, there are issues with the game. I love loved the game. There are some issues. Um, yeah. Specifically, I don't know if you had this problem, Alex. I don't know why I can't lock onto things. Maybe that, that was a, a design choice, but yeah, that's how it, was. it was infuriating that I could not no, lock onto sure. something. Um, yeah, I would have to keep pressing the right stick to like make it go back and snap back onto the thing, and like I would hold, I would keep clicking it, and like so while I'm fighting something, I just keep clicking it. Yeah, for people who haven't seen it or haven't watched it, there isn't a like you can't lock on anything. There's a little kind of targeting system that clips yeah. on to what you're about to bite. Yeah, and it right like before, it, but that's a but like that's really about like it. That. It's very easy to miss it, especially. Yeah. Um, if they're smaller and even if they're really big, sometimes it is kind of weird to kind of, yeah. And they're fast, like the barracudas or something. Yeah. And the make, yeah. Yeah. The maker shark, of course, too. Um, but all in all, it was really fun. There were of course more issues that I, I just honestly think can chalk it up to they were, it was like one of their first games, I think, Mm -hmm. um, like the the actual level up system was kind of a mess. Um, I got all these random mutagen stuff so early i didn't need to grind for them which is good i'm glad i'm glad they didn't make me do that to be clear um because it was a perfect game that you didn't have to like go and do stuff um but after a while it became me hitting um the evade button and then just hitting rt over and over again yeah it was it was definitely to where uh, i actually enjoyed um the leveling up and getting all the each mute engine to see which like how uh what's it called like what type of shark i wanted to be if i wanted to be a shadow valley yeah that was cool valley. it was really cool looking at the differences and they and the designs look cool it is disappointing there were only three of them um yeah. i'm pretty sure we saw more than that in the trailer um i'm pretty sure i'm i'm not 100 percent on that but i, I think we did well, in, in my head i cut some well they showed a bunch of different like uh combinations there's three there's only supposed to be three but there's all the combinations that you can do that's what they were doing yeah i don't believe you 
<laughs> but hey, fun game. I recommend it. Um, Alex, what? How much was this again? Forty. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Yeah. Uh, for forty bucks, I could see. I could see if if this sounds sounds like something. It is unique. One of the funnest things that I love about this game when I was, for example, I, as I'm getting collectible, some of the collectibles are so uh, collectibles are so many Easter eggs from different things that is. Uh, um, I, yeah, I almost forgot to bring that up. Yeah, the the Easter eggs were awesome. I got the SpongeBob one was awesome. Yes, uh, I did the Titanic one. Oh, I missed that one. I must have been not paying attention. The, yeah, there the, was one where it's um, oh, the Titanic. You know, um, it's, a, it's it was talking about the voyage, and it's like oh, there, this is a rep, and it did the same. You know, it did the same fate, and it was showing that there was two skeletons at the very tip doing the the pose. Like that's awesome. That's awesome. And then there was a Godzilla one. Where, there was like a big thing on the bottom floor like yeah for the kaiju yeah, yeah. the guy kai- it was like the kaiju don't always visit but when they do they make a mess or something like that it was awesome yeah, yeah. also the reason this game in my sense is so good is because chris parnell is the one narrating the game and ah, they, yeah. there's a narrator uh narrating it as if it was a tv show and is incredibly hilarious dialogue oh yeah for sure almost every line is a, is a, either a chuckle or just a straight up laugh that or it's even a fact of the, the air of the top of like a shark or something to make it and it sounds cool he's like oh the sharks can do whatever like in and he makes it sound like so yeah cool. yeah yeah and if you don't know chris parnell is the guy from rick and morty he is jerry in rick and morty he's also um one of the characters in Archer, I'm blanking on it right now. Um, and he's a couple other things. He's super famous. But h- hilarious, nonetheless. So, uh, I had a great time with Man Eater. Um, yes, I that, that's my final verdict. I do recommend a buy if you got the 40 bucks. Um, for anybody who's playing, who's played the Killing Floor games, Tripwire is the ones who did this. Oh, they play- I didn't they, know they made Killing they did- Floor. I didn't know either. Yeah, they did. Killing Floor... Uh, double feature, Killing Floor 2. They did a game called Rising Storm, Road Redemption, Red Orchestra, which it looks like an army game, and Chivalry 2. Oh, wow, they did a lot of games. Wow. I've heard of yeah. Chivalry 2 as well. Um, yeah. So this definitely was it was far from their first feat as a, as a developer. So Yeah, no, uh, they, this is the, probably like their seventh maybe game, it looks like. Maybe well, hey, it, it feels seasoned. It feels good. No, yeah, it feels, it feels good. I enjoyed it. I honestly, it, I would hope to see another one so like but i don't know if they would yeah I, yeah it's a hard game to make a sequel out of because you're a shark yeah. i don't know if you'd be the same shark i don't know man. I, you I, know i don't i don't, I don't know for stuff yeah I, I don't know about uh what would happen it'd be cool if he makes like a squid you know something crazy like a squid or no, kraken yeah, sure. or something just something crazy um yeah but uh but yeah hey th- thumbs up to tripwire um yep. they made a great game moving on to uh what uh, did i play anything else? we played apex you know yes, of, course. Played, of course of course um i played a match of predator hunting grounds which was how, how so was far that? so far again literally a match um it was, okay, how it was fine the lobby did they fix any of that uh so so far it was perfect it took 20 seconds yeah. straight up uh, 20 it had a timer it said 20 seconds it got me into a lobby it is two minutes if you want to be a predator though it says you have to mm, wait two minutes okay. to be a predator um okay. but i kind of had a crappy predator to be like straight up so i didn't we didn't see the predator the entire match and then we got to the helicopter and then it shot a he shot a laser at us and then and then we just we by that time we had already left (laughs) so like it was pretty sad i didn't even get to shoot at it or see it so that that was very strange but i mean uh, uh, plenty more plenty more matches to do i did um because i wanted them uh there there is a uh what's his name uh arnold arnold thank you arnold schwarzenegger dutch is the character from predator i bought the little pack for the game yeah and i bought that just to try him out it's awesome you get to be arnold schwarzenegger i mean come on come on and then you can eventually unlock the terminator glasses which that's for sure being put on that Um, man um i'm actually sorry i'm going back to mafia 2 oh i I'm, i'm not going back yet i'm hoping they patch some stuff before I go so back, I, I wasn't having issues either, but I was hearing people having issues, so I might give it a second. But I am feeling the urge to kind of go back because, yeah. you know, again, achievements were achievements well, lots here. Now that I'm done with Man Eater and I've dove in that, now I'm going to go to Mafia and play all that because they have it on the hardest difficulty. And you know, I go back. 
all the collectibles for it. Don't hold me to this. Don't put a knife or a gun to my throat. But I'm thinking about just going back to Persona and just finishing that out. I did give it a oh. break. I did give it a break. But I am thinking of just going straight up and being like, you know what? Let me let me finish this and have it done. Um, because I'm I have to be only. I mean, I'm assuming 20, 30 hours away from beating it, which, you know, persona wise is nothing. So I, I think I need a good, probably on my next weekend now, sit down and just boom through it and just have it done. Yeah, I haven't got, I tried going back, but like I played for like an hour and I'm like, I guess I wasn't feeling it just right. yet. Right. And I always said it, I kept feeling it, but then I guess I, when I actually got to it, I wasn't. So I went to Mafia 2 instead. I'm well, hoping that I get the urge back if I go back. Cause hey, I remember, like, it took me a year <laughs> to beat the original Persona 5. So maybe yeah. it will do the same to you. I need like, like spurts of. Because, like, I've played maybe for 20, I think, hours now, 30 hours. So I need spurt. Like, I give it, you know, a good month and then go back to it for another 20, 30 hours and then wait again. I want people, and I'm about to, I'm about to give a dilemma to the audience. And, Alex, this is a dilemma for you as well. Okay. I have about a handful of games I want to play. I need someone to okay. either tweet or comment in this video what I should play. Whatever gets the most tweets or comments, I will play it. Number one comes in at Saints Row the Third, which got a remaster that looks really fun, and Saints Row the Third is awesome. Oh, for sure. The new Mortal Kombat 11 expansion, Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Do I just keep playing Predator Hunting Grounds? That's number three. Mm-hmm. Minecraft Dungeons, which we started. Uh, I sorry, I started. Yeah, you started. I haven't got a tra- I haven't got a chance to play that yet. Yeah, I started it. It's good so far. Um, it's basic Diablo. Like think of bare bones Diablo. You you put things on and and you fight with it that that's that's what it is it's it's fun it's fun with people i think i think if i was single player i'd probably stop around the point where i am now but if i get if me and alex play i'll definitely play more and then persona 5 royal coming in at i think number five um so tweeter comment at me i'm still debating on what do i spend my next week what technically two and a half to it depends on how you want to look at it I gotta have some of these games done before Last of Us, because of course, oh, Last sure. of Us will take we have like, precedence. We have, like, we have like what, two, three weeks? Yeah, two, three weeks. Yeah. I think um, it's June nineteenth. So yeah. once as of today, today's the twenty ninth. Two, two and a half, two, two and two and some change, two and some change. Yeah. So so we got some time, but I need to I need to whittle them down a little more, and then I can do it. Okay. But Alex. Enough about what we've been playing. Let's get into some news, shall we? Yeah, I think I think it's time. I think it's time to no 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 news. <laughs> now I don't know if uh, you guys believe me, but I just made that up on the spot. So oh? I'm pretty talented if I do say so myself. Over on Xbox.com, Xbox Series X, the most powerful and compatible next-gen console with thousands of games at launch. This is essentially a write-up they did talking about their backwards compatibility and what they are bringing to the table with the new Xbox Series X, right? Um, This was uh, There's a whole bunch more than what I'm going to read to you guys today. You can read this all in detail on, I believe it was Xbox Wire. I do forget um, where I grabbed this because I grabbed this kind of last minute because this went out today, I believe. Um, But this is their dedication, in quotes, to... um, uh, to backwards compatibility, and they and they say some challenges that they've hit and what they are doing to maintain it. That's um, the, you should just read the title and leave it at that. That's the end of the podcast. Goodbye, uh, goodbye, goodbye. That's thank you for coming. Um, to do to do easy achievers next week. Maintaining compatibility presents a massive technical challenge as fundamental system and chip architectures advance across generations. Developers highly optimize their games. To the unique compatibilities and performance of a console to provide the best experience for the players to make the xbox series x our most compatible console ever required both significant innovation in the design of the custom processor as well as the unique design of the xbox operating system and hypervisor at the heart of our next generation platform just gives you a little bit of chills you know it sets the mood right there right right hypervisor i don't even know what that is but I, but i'm down whatever it is put it in me Insert it oh. into my veins. Put it in. Put it in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! With more than a hundred thousand hours of play testing already completed, thousands of games are already playable on Xbox Series X today. 
from the biggest blockbusters to cult classics and fan favorites. Many of us in Team Xbox play on Xbox Series X daily as our primary console and switching between generations is seamless. I am jealous of that. They're already playing it. By the time we launch this holiday, the team will have spent well over 200,000 hours Jeez. ensuring your game library is ready for you to jump in immediately. Better be good. That's the... <laughs> Alex is on his throne like... Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Don't do it. We lived through 2013. Don't do it again. Don't start. <laughs> All games play better on Xbox Series X. Not o- not only should gamers be able to play all these games from the past, but they should be play player better than ever before. Backwards compatible games are run natively on the Xbox Series X hardware. Running with the full power of the CPU, GPU, and SSD. A lot of abbreviations there. I'm a huge fan of all of those. No boost mode, no downclocking. The full power of the Xbox Series X for each and every backwards compatible game. This means that all titles run at the peak performance that they're originally designed for. And many times, even higher performance than the game saw on the original launch platform. Resulting in higher and more steady frame rates. And running at their maximum resolution and visual quality. Backwards compatible titles. Also see significant reductions in in-game load times from the massive leap in performance from our custom NVMe SSD, which powers the Xbox Velocity architecture. As I play through my personal backlog as part of the internal testing of the incredible games for Xbox One and earlier play best on Series X. The team was not content to just rely on the increased hardware performance to improve your playing experience. The team developed new platform level compatibilities to ensure all of your games continue to get even better in partnership with the xbox advanced technology group xbox series x develops a new innovative innovative sorry jesus innovative hdr reconstruction technique which enables the platform to automatically add hdr support to games as this technique is handled by the platform itself, and it, enable, it allows us to enable HDR with zero impact to games performance. And we can also apply it to the Xbox 360 and original Xbox titles developed almost 20 years ago, well before the existence of HDR. In addition, the, the new quick resume feature was designed to not only work with new games, but it can be enabled for backwards compatible titles. Quick resume enables players to resume quickly where they left off across multiple tiles, ensuring gamers can get right back into the fun in an instant. All of these advances happen at a platform level and require no additional work from title developers, which is tight. Great news, right? All native. They don't have to do anything. Automatic HDR. Immediately, most games, it looks like, are going to be upscaled to 4K. It's kind of unclear about that. Um, it seems like most of the- all games the xbox originals and everything yeah yeah so so the hdr thing is cool i'll hold my breath to see how good that actually looks um because like am i gonna boot up for instance the original mass effect and let's say the hdr works like am i gonna be blown away like am i gonna look at be like oh my god the colors the ray tracing because i imagine it won't look that much better but if it does that's hey i'll take it you want to do a side by side of Mass Effect One? Yeah, yeah, and we'll do it like a crappy way, where like I'll have a picture of Mass Effect One, and I'll just put it to the side, and like look how much better it looks. <laughs> Advancing the state of art of game preservation, in addition to preserving the legacy of our loyal fans who have been with us since the beginning, we enable entirely new generations of gamers to play and enjoy the timeless games from our past while respecting and honoring their creators. Alex, I'm gonna pause here. That is something I think is important with next gen, right? You are you're sticking with your games, right? You you bought all these digital games. Well, you well, we want to make sure you still own them, so right. we're we're making you keep it, right? And I think that's gonna be increase. You know, last gen I feel like that wasn't as huge of an issue, right? Most people didn't have a digital library readily at hand. Now I think the majority of consumers have at least six to ten digital games just sitting on their system. I'm sure most of them want to bring that over. Most likely, those are the online games, Destinies, your 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 Division Twos, these perpetual online games. So I'll be very curious to see how they handle that, um, especially since if they're like you got like 20 games in your PS4, it's going to be hard to convert them to a, a new, entirely new system with no games. Yeah. Beginning with Xbox One X, 
The compatibility team developed brand new innovations that could be applied to a hand curated list of titles to enhance them further than what was possible when they first created. Techniques such as Hiuchi method, Hiachi, Hiuchi, Hiuchi. That's a mess. Which enables titles to render with increased resolutions up to 4K or applying anisotropic filtering. Jesus. To improve the final image quality, bringing these classic games up to modern standards better than ever before. Alex, aside from me butchering half of these words, all that sounds like some really nice marketing terms to me. Oh, for sure. I was really trying to look up how to say that word. <laughs> An- anis- anisotropic. Anisotropic, I think it's how you're supposed to say it. Anisotropic. Comment, tweet at me, phonetically spell it out. <laughs> say how Say how it says. Yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, I, I want, I, I, and, and I want the dashes. I, I want the dashes. I want the teal days. I want the little lines on top of them. I'm blanking on what those are called. Um, like the straight line over to the top. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of, oh, of course. Yeah. I don't remember, but anyways, Alex, what what do you think about that? Does that stimulate you? Does that put you in 4K HDR? Look, every anything that has, has to do with Xbox Series X and anything up up uh, like higher than 4K stimulates my body. It St- stimulates you, so you don't even need it. It's just it just happens natively. Uh, Some say like, natively through the architecture. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm so ready. To... I'm down. I guess you could say Alex is chip arch- architecture has been natively upgraded to 4k and hdr i fucking nailed that moving yeah. on <laughs> moving on <laughs> ps5 <laughs> conference reportedly coming as quote early as next week sony is reportedly planning a virtual event next week which will kick off a series of planned events from the most anticipated system Reported by Bloomberg, people with, quote, direct knowledge of the matter, end quote, have said the virtual event could take place on June 3rd, but also, quote, caution that plans have been in flux and the date may change, end quote. Is this true, Alex? Do you believe Mr. Bloomberg in his news? Oh, always. Always. (laughs) Always Mr. Bloomberg is is, is the people we believe. I do believe this. Yeah, I believe it's next week. I don't know if June third is the day, but I believe it's next week. We, I mean, it's gotta be soon, right? Like, it, it, like I'm looking. June third is next Wednesday. Of course, uh, as a recording, Alex said this. This is this is May 29th for us. So June third is a Wednesday. Yeah, I could see this. I could see this. I could see it literally being any time next week. Um, it will be mm-hmm. a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I can't see Monday or Tuesday, of course. I, I I don't know why, but it's it's gonna be in the latter half of the week. Might even be pushed. T- uh, to the to week after for coronavirus reasons because that's the reason apparently i've heard the reason that they haven't had the conference already is because they want it to seem professional so they don't want they don't want anyone zooming on a call or you know essentially what we're doing alex <laughs> we're talking on discord and 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 putting like a like a little camera apparently they don't want that so they um, cancel all their stuff and they pushed it to um as far as possible, and I'm assuming we're gonna get actual people talking about this system. Maybe I don't know. There's no way they're getting pressed to this, right? Right? Like, no. like, like, like. What do you think? Do 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 you think they're having an event, or is this gonna be some sort of? Because it says it says virtual event, right? So I'm assuming yeah. no one will I, be there. Do you think they just succumbed and, and they're doing this Discord thing? I would assume it would be like the thing that we got with mark cerny just a little better oh okay like will we get the cutouts of people in the audience oh for sure of course i'm that's good that's good thank god yeah i was worried i was you know i was worried we wouldn't get uh, stand uh, default white male cutout number one you know as who can forget oh yeah who no, can forget I, I i can't wait to see do you see do, do you believe this yeah, no, I think I think it'll I don't think it'll happen. Do you think June third is right? Do you think it's happening then, or is this in flux, like as they say, or you think we're we're nailed for June third? Mm, I think they. Sh- I think 
they it, because they keep saying June third and stuff like that. It's like if they break, if they're turning their back on June third now, I feel like they're just gonna get so much. Excuse my French fuckery. Right, right. Fuckery. I I know that word. Um, yeah, so. Important to know. This is odd timing, and I guess they can't avoid it with all this happening. But we have Last of Us two June nineteenth. If they're going to do PS5 stuff next week, they're going to have to time this ever so slightly to where they don't cannibalize their own game uh, from news coverage, which I don't think will happen, but can very much harm their own game with revealing their own system because it could completely, like, take away from, you know, hey, the, the game's coming out, but also, like, PS5 is being shown off. Like, look at that. Yeah. So they are in a very, they're in a, they're in a, they're in a tiffy, I got to say. <laughs> They're in a tiffy, Alex. No one wants to be in a tiffy. No, for sure. So yeah, June 3rd and then June 19th. So they got two weeks. I could see this kicking off and they start showing off the system. Alex, when do we see the system? Because rumors are this is like a game. They show games, apparently. Are they going to show the system here? Uh, The rumor is this is games. And then, then this sets off a series of events for the next few weeks that will i assume eventually show the system if it if it doesn't show the system the first june the like first I week could, i feel like they will oh you you think we get into june 3rd i have i have a feeling just to get everybody's like just to like get everybody off guard I feel oh like okay i like it i like it we're getting that I, black and white system that, no yeah if i was them i'd be like oh yeah you know we're gonna show the games and stuff like that but i mean what are they? How are they going to show the games? They if they can't say that it's on the system, we'll be like, oh, this is all running on PS Five. And by the way, here is the system. Either you start the event by, show, by the showing the system, or you end it. Right? You don't. I feel like you start and be like, well, here are the games on PS Five. If they want to, if they want to just drop their balls on the table, you start that. You start it off with here's the system. Here is yeah. like Spider Man Two or whatever the hell Horizon Two, what, you know, whatever game they yeah. they got yeah. prepped, Kill Zone, whatever the garbage they're gonna pull out, Resistance Trilogy Remastered. I heard that's coming apparently. Yeah, Uncharted um, Fifty Six, Uncharted <laughs> Uncharted Eighty Seven. It's coming. Everyone, we're all excited. It's yeah. now Nathan Drake's great great granddaughter. Hey. <laughs> It's been two years since God of War two, uh, the first God of War. So hmm. we so, got a, we got another year, I think. Uh, I, think no, I think for sure, I think we got another year too. But like maybe a glimpse. It would. They, it took five years for this one, and Corey even said it won't take that long for the next ones because they have the whole thing. So they says they only, should only take two to three years. Alex, you're stimulating me again. My Zen architectures are working up. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that you, that you don't tease God. Like, I don't think that's crazy to say. Like a, te- like a small, the smallest of small teases. Like you hear Atreus, I don't know, shoot a bow or something, oh, some, oh, some garbage. Like oh, you know, oh, all you gotta hear is boy it just that's it that's it that'd be awesome that would be if he just did boy and that's it <laughs> that would be hilarious well the all you hear is boy come aside me or something and then uh you see it, it pan over Kratos' the shoulder just a silhouette and you see odin just like like rise oh. from like, uh, like a, his throne or something and oh be like oh God. that's what we mean odin or something interesting i can see i can see it i don't i don't know i could see it, a slight tease and it would end the show because mm-hmm. they want to remind everyone that the PS5 has your favorite games on it. Um, yeah. Alex, right now, w- right now, what do you, what do you think? Right now, you have to guess what are two games that will for sure be shown at this event. Mm. You're betting money, hundred dollars to me. You have to give it to me. I mean, oh. you just give I mean, me a hundred dollars, by the way. I, mean, I bet you <laughs> that they're gonna show more Last of Us. I mean, for I sure. For sure. I mean, even I though they, d- even though they did jump, they dropped, and uh, I didn't have this as a news story, so it's, I'm glad you picked that up. They did drop 20 minutes of gameplay. If you guys want to check that out, if you're, if I guess if you're curious, if you want the game, you can of course watch the 20 minute gameplay trailer. Um, I, I do not want to see 20 minutes of this game. I want to go in as, as fresh, and as 
and I quote virginized as possible. You well, know what I'm saying? There they showed. Um, I watched most, and I'm not gonna like say what we saw, but um, what we uh, ten minutes of it is explaining things and certain things we've already seen. Okay. And then the last ten minutes is never before seen footage. Okay, tell me, tell, just wink at me if this is true. Did we see a dragon? Just wink at me though. Yoink! Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. I'm on fire today. <laughs> oh, but but uh, what's the second game? What's the second game we see? Mm, 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 Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh God, I'm I'm excited for this. I say Horizon Two. And oh, I say, no. and I say, random garbage I don't care about. Now that sounds mean. <laughs> that sounds bad? mean. But that, I, I, I'm saying like a kill zone. Is it or... better than what I say Ratchet and Clank or Knack Four? Well, no. I get... Oh, Knack Three, you mean? But yeah, three. <laughs> <laughs> we're skipping three. Knack Two was so good that we have to skip the third. We, it's like the iPhone. You skip a number. Yep, for sure. I, I, uh, I could. <laughs> I could see Knack 3 being a thing. Like, PlayStation has that little bit of weird left that I could see them being like, you know what? Knack 3. Um, I said Killzone. That's, uh, unless they give it to a different studio, that's not true. Because Gorilla makes Horizon Zero Dawn now. So that can, that can be. I, I think a Resistance trilogy probably makes the most sense from... Um, uh, oh God, who made Resistance? I, I already forgot who made that, but... Regardless, I could see that. I could see some sort of remaster of something. Um, a new Ratchet and Clank game would be awesome. Yeah. Um, because the the last one I loved. Did you play the last one? I don't remember. Yes, I did. You did. I, did wanted, you? I wanted to plan them, but I never got around to it. I was like maybe like what 70, 80 percent. I just never got around it. I don't remember if I did. I think um, I think I messed the platinum up and and just said N never mind because I I think I messed up the sh make everything a sheep once in the game and, and I was like oh, whatever. <laughs> Insomniac did Resistance. Thank you. I thought it was Insomniac, and I, I, I doubted myself. Ladies and gentlemen, never doubt yourself. Always believe you're right no matter what they say. Yep. <laughs> but uh, regardless, yes, that, that is what I think. I think we're getting a glimpse of Horizon 2 on this wow. PS5 footage, and then we'll see, again, uh, probably some sort of Resistance trilogy or some random... Oh, so no, no. I'll tell you what we'll see. We'll see Demon Souls from uh the demon souls remaster from blue point that's what we'll see because okay. i literally was gonna say aren't they working on something else um who gorilla or just playstation uh, the the remaster people oh blue point yeah blue point's making we i know for sure it's demon souls um okay. I, I i literally bet i'll bet you a hundred thousand i i know it is so this is gonna be a far game but i we haven't gotten it and we should because i think it's time an infamous uh, remaster we should we very much should. It's a travesty. You can't play those games on your PS4. It is that's they own the games. They they can just pay a studio to port it. I don't. I do not understand why they haven't. I can't believe it. Demon Souls. They should have them like uh, like do a re like a good remaster. I mean, they could do it. They're ta talented folks over there. They did Shadow Colossus so well. I do think Blue Point is getting very buddy buddy with uh, PlayStation. So I could see. I think I think we're getting very close to Sony just being like, "Hey, we bought Blue Point," and that's I'm gonna hate that because that means I'm not gonna get any more <laughs> Blue Point games on my Xbox. But um, we never know. You never. Hey, Alex. Alex always puts it puts it in doubt. Um, but uh, but uh, hey, I, I'm excited. Hopefully, it's true. I want to see PS5 stuff. Um, moving on. GTA 6 release window might still be a few years away. Shocking, I know to everyone listening. Um, but people keep talking about this, so I figured I'd cover it on the show. Um, <laughs> Alex, you're on fire too. I love it. Uh, this is Alessandra Barbosa. Um, I believe this is from GameSpot. Uh, May 27th. I don't know. Why did I say that? That's, that's when they went live. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 is presumed to be the next title in development at Rockstar. Uh, and now a C -E -A S E C filing by publisher Take-Two Interactive might indicate that it won't be ready until 2023. Now, in theory, everything that is said, even though I think this this is still relevant to what we're talking about, it has been kind of contradicted. So I'm going to read the update to the story, then I'll read the full story, then we can talk about what, what happened. So this is the update to the story. Take-Two 
has contradicted the takeaway in a statement to GameIndustry.biz saying the table only reflects marketing commitments for third-party companies, not in its internal projects. As a result, this wouldn't indicate any potential marketing spent on a new Rockstar game. And the actual story is that they found from the period that starts on April 1st, 2023 and ends on March 31st, 2024, is the company's plans on spending roughly $90 million in marketing. So you can guess that if Grand Theft Auto 6 is the next game they're making, that they will spend $90 million on that financial year to promote the game. For sure. Alex? I- Technically, this has now been contradicted because they're saying not, they don't. That's not how they post financials. This would have to be a third-party marketing, um, not their own internal marketing. Regardless of that fact, GTA Six. When do you think we'll see it? Um, for context, Grand Theft Auto Five came out in 2013. It is the most profitable game of all time. For everyone who does not know that, just in case you didn't know year what what would you what i feel like we'll see like a sneak peek of it next year alex you gotta stop smoking crack before this okay i don't i never judge you for the crack smoking but you can't do it before the shows because you say nonsense like that <laughs> you say just nonsense like that nonsense i've been right okay? <laughs> you have been i'm not saying you it's guaranteed wrong i 100 percent don't think we're seeing anything remotely gta into look, at least 2024 20, they, they showed elder scroll 6 logo and that's it I yeah like bethesda's that's- weird <laughs> that's also a random news story i didn't add to this uh but uh, someone asked them about elder scroll 6 and um phil uh pete hines or which is the head of pr over there said elder scroll 6 is after starfield and you know nothing about starfield so if you're asking me when elder scrolls 6 coming out i have properly mismanaged your expectations that could be a little messed up but that is essentially what he said i don't know why they announced elder scrolls 6 if they didn't want people to ask about it but yeah, no, to shut people up and be like yes we're doing it leave me alone that did the opposite though now, now every e3 is worse do we see Elder Scrolls 6? I get this question all the time. Do you, will we see Elder Scrolls? No, you won't. Ever. For Until we get Starfield, you will never hear about Elder Scrolls 6. Yep. Jesus, man. Anyways, GTA 6, when do we see it? You said T's next year, so when does it come out? Uh, I'll give it another three years. <laughs> okay, that's a big-ass tease. <laughs> oh, it's fair. We see a tease at a game, and then we don't see it for another two years. That's true. I feel like uh, Rockstar would be on their toes a little better than that. But, hey, I, I am giving a lot of leeway I mean, to them. Uh, how long did it take Red Dead 2 to come out? Oh, that's a good question. When it was announced and then when it was released? I want to say it was a full two years. Let's see. That's a good question. When was it announced, and then when did Red Dead 2 get released say we could say the same thing about grand theft auto 5 of course as well when was grand theft auto 5 announced and when did it release but let's yeah. do red dead 2 because that uh, shows a little bit better of context let's see. let's see let's see let's see i like how i said when was red dead 2 announced and is that talking it's giving me like pre-order bonus <laughs> <laughs> it was announced uh the the, the the release date is october 26th Yes. Uh, this is nonsense. Oh, uh, uh, it was October 18, 2016, when it says Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 was... That's what it looks like, unless I'm wrong. That was the release date. October 26, 2018 is the release date. The release date was what? I'm sorry? October 26... 2018 okay it was probably i'm trying to remember because this is within the last five years so i should remember this i feel like it was and uh, when was it even an, oh it was announced on a random um like just a random day was it like in 27 march 2017 or something like that I think when you look up and there's like these like youtube videos that pop up there's a thing on here and it shows that it says Red Dead Two, Red Dead Redemption Two announced. Because uh, remember, we we got just the picture, and then they gave us a release date that they had to push like way, like they had to push a full year. 
almost. Yeah. Because it was going to come out fall of the year prior, I think. And it got pushed like a full-on year, I think, for the online, I think is, is what they said or something like that. Let's see. Some random reason. Bax. Enough about Red Two. If you find out when it was, we can kind of piece together. But I, I think we're getting this game no later, or sorry, no earlier than twenty twenty four. It was um, twenty sixteen. It was uh, they showed they teased it between October sixteen and seventeen of twenty sixteen. Yeah, and they thought they were gonna release in the next year, and they they failed in that, and it got pushed a full year basically. Yep. Moving moving on to something that Alex and I will tear up a little bit. We'll, we'll stick together for you guys. We almost got a Force Unleashed 3. And Sam Witwer would like to talk a little bit about it. Star Wars Sam Witwer teases the Force Unleashed sequel that never happened. Before Witwer became the voice of Darth Maul, he made his Star Wars debut playing Starkiller, the main character in the 2008 video game Star Wars The Force Unleashed and its 2010 sequel. Unfortunately, that sequel had a troubled development history. And The Force Unleashed 3 is one of the many Star Wars games that never saw the light of day. It's all the more frustrating given that Force Unleashed 2 ends on a cliffhanger that most likely will never be resolved. When asked about LucasArts' plans for The Force Unleashed 3, Witwer revealed how the sequel would have picked up from the ending of the previous game, which showed Starkiller defeating Darth Vader and leaving to bring Vader into rebel custody. Their shit answer, Starkiller would have discovered his foreign masters far more devious and powerful than he realized. Quote, at the end of The Force Unleashed 2, he cuts off Vader's hand and captures him, said Witwer. I'm not comfortable sharing everything we discussed, but the idea was that the biggest mistake ever and that Vader, like he was toying with Luke, the Force Unleashed 1 and 2 games, were all about Vader toying with Starkiller. And at some point, there would be a conversation where Starkiller is fighting Vader and everything that worked before suddenly isn't working now. He's like, I cut off your hand. And Vader says, that wasn't my hand. I have no hand. <laughs> that is some gold writing right there. A plus writing. I, I love Sam Witwer. I'm not making fun of him. I'm making fun of that ridiculous ass sentence. That was hilarious. Oh my god. Wit- Witwer continue. Starkiller's fighting and Starkiller's says how are you doing this <laughs> Vader answers simply with whatever the first line of the original star wars script was which i believe quote, i am lord darth vader dark lord of the sith it was something along those lines and that ends the conversation he's no match for this guy there's a little spoiler for an alternate universe so uh a couple years back <laughs> for my um uh, honeymoon i went on a disney cruise and i think i've seen it before the um Pablo Hidalgo, he's one of he's, he works for uh, I think what is it? Uh, Luc- not Lucas Arts, but uh, Lucas Films. Lucas Films. Yeah, well, he he was Lucas Arts at the time, and now it's Lucas Films. He does like all the books, the illustrations for like Rogue One and stuff like that. And I asked him about Star Killer and if anything would come back to that, and he said he would love that, but it's because everything is like so canon and off canon, like it's so hard to bring to the world. And I'm like, uh. You just don't want to say. That was a nice way of saying not a fucking yeah. shot in your life, kid. <laughs> there's I'm I, I don't know how that went down, but I'm assuming there's some legal mumbo jumbo that might interfere with them doing it, or no one cares about the force at least anymore. Um which was those were dope games. But well, now the guy said he'd love to do it, but he said they they just could Yeah, well I you know we got Jedi Fallen Order, which I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do think there are better games. Not that that's surprising, but I do think no. it is a better game than Fortunately. So I guess I am happy where we are now. But I do wish we got some sort of closure because it does end on a huge cliffhanger. Sure. <laughs> Alex, we can never forget that line. I cut off your hand and Vader says, that wasn't my hand. I have no hand. <laughs> oh, my God. That is amazing. Oh, oh moving on. That was, that was awesome. Though. And I'm also watching the Clone Wars, by the way. Um, on Disney Plus, really good show. I need to get to it. It's really good. It, it's it's decent. I'm using um a watch guide thing. Essentially, uh, like this is the best episodes to watch. You can skip everything else. I'm like dope, and I, and I use that. The Naruto thing where like you try to find all the good ones. Hundred yeah, percent. Uh, yes, that is exactly what I did with Naruto. I looked at the arcs and I was like, that sounds like the, the stupid arc. I skipped all the filler episodes. Which, if you're a Naruto fan, that's most of them. Moving on, Respawn opens new studio in Vancouver to focus on Apex Legends. Respawn has opened up a new studio in Vancouver. The studio will focus entirely on Apex Legends, a popular battle royale title. The Vancouver-based location looking to expand for up to 80 employees. It's 
Vancouver office will be Respawn's second location to its addition uh, the, to the studio in California, led by Vince Zampella, who also became the head of Dice LA back at the beginning of the year. Just a quick story. They're having a whole new studio. The whole problem with Apex and why it kind of updates a little slower than most games is they didn't have a huge team. It was half of a studio, as you can see. So hopefully with this, we will actually get a little bit quicker update times and a little bit quicker patches and things like that with the addition to a full studio. So that's exciting. Yes, it is. That is very exciting. Alex, next, I'm going to, we all need to get hyped for this and, and we need to pray it's good. All right. We all need to just kind of hope for a second. We kind of just got to get, get our minds out of the gutter because this could be good. All right. I see a lot of negativity out there. You know who you are. You know who you are. You know. This could be good. This could be bad. <laughs> but let's just, let's just see. Let's just see how it goes when it comes out. Okay. Reports say there's a Kingdom Hearts Disney Plus show. All right. Now, this was a full-on mess. I think I was going to talk about this last week, but then I realized some dude just said there's a Kingdom Hearts Disney Plus thing with no backup whatsoever. He just said it. So I didn't cover it, I don't think. No, I... I, I, I... I had said something about it, and you were like, I don't know about oh, that. Oh, yeah, I think I think so, too. Um, but then Jeremy Conrad says, yes, it's true. He just tweets that with a Kingdom Hearts gif from Kingdom Hearts 1 while they're doing a Trinity, and it looks like at uh, at World's End. Um, it's crazy. I know that. It might be Monstro, but I think it's at World's End. Um, but it just, that's all. That's all it says. And then I looked up who Jeremy, Jer- Jeremy Conrad is. I believe he just runs um like a show hold on let me look it up again because i think he just does comic book stuff okay um he's an author uh, author at mcu cosmic whatever that is um he's <laughs> there's also a jeremy Conrad real estate agent in san clemente california so that's nice that's him we found him that's him we found jeremy Conrad. <laughs> but anyway someone retweeted it and it's uh skylar schuler uh, been tagged in Jeremy's poach, which is true. So here's what I know: Kingdom Hearts will be a Disney Plus series, not a movie. It's animated uh, in CG, so it's a, it's CG like the cutscenes, like in the in the game. Um, Disney voice actors are expected to reprise their role: Jim Cummings, Bill Farmer, Tony Anselmo, and that's all they know. Yep. Alex, what do you want to see out of this? What is best case scenario that comes out of this? <laughs> Is there any chance this is good? Yes. I think so, too. Because it could be, like, you know, the... Like, the lock, stuff like that. Like, I mean, like did, I mean, I guess we saw everything they went through in the games, but, I mean, we never know. For sure. Well, I assume we'll get more context, so right? I figured maybe um, they, they can do some, like, things, you know, in between game and stuff like that well i'm assuming this is a retelling of kingdom hearts one i assume i don't of course know and we got no details on the actual story um so i can't hear you oh of course i'm having technical difficulties oh more technical difficulties on alex's side i can hear him which is strange um but he cannot hear me so i will keep talking for you guys um but what i think is i I would like to uh, kingdom hearts one retelling um in the spirit of how what's the best way of putting this kind of like the mandalorian if you guys watch that on disney plus where there were filler episodes but i feel like there were better there were really good it was really good in this scenario there are much better ways to fill the episodes because you get to spend a whole episode in aladdin or in uh, what, what would I want to see? I think Ala- I think Aladdin would be the best best way to start it off because it's a good way of explaining how everything is and everyone knows mm-hmm. Aladdin now. And then there you can go. do... Um, By the way... Aladdin, you, Little Mermaid. Were you talking the whole time? Yes, I can hear you. and me. Okay. The audience can hear you as well. So okay. you were fine. Okay. I, had, I, I just kept going and hoped you'd shut up after a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, because... I but he's back, ladies and gentlemen. Me or you. No, I, 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 I figured you'd figure it out. But yeah. I knew I couldn't get to you in time before you'd actually fix it. Okay. Uh, so I just kept talking. So uh, essentially, me and the audience are talking about 
what are the worlds we want to see? I, I want us to I start gotcha. around because we need a Traverse Town, right? Because that's where you set up Sora, Donald, and Goofy's relationship. Mm-hmm. Where do we go For from sure. there? What do you, what do you, what's that first? What's the first world that, that you want to see? Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about like specifically in the game because I was like, no, it depends on the game. Oh, no, no, no. I, well, no, what's the first world you want to see? Like, you. Uh, uh, what's his what's this the ceo of disney comes up to you he's like alex i'm struggling here i i need i need where do we go in this in this show i'll be honest i don't even know what a heart or a kingdom is and i i have no idea what's going on so i need you to fill me in alex what is the first uh, world they tell you you tell you to go hmm i want something new okay um (laughs) i don't think that's what they want because not everyone's played the game, so I'm assuming this is for mm, everyone. Good point, good point, good point. I, I want new, too, but I want I want to start familiar for people who've played the game. Okay. But I want some um, new sprinkling in there, too. I do agree with that. Let's go. Hmm. My blank is, is Aladdin. That's the, I, for me, okay. I feel like that's identifiable to everybody. Like, oh, Aladdin, oh. good thing. Um, Hercules is an easy one. I was thinking of going back to Aladdin, not Aladdin, I'm sorry, Tarzan, but like it made it completely different to where like, uh, you know how they had the, the show, like they got to do things mm. go around the, the like episodes that happened in the show. I mean, or, this gives this gives them a unique opportunity, Disney, yeah. I mean, to where, what do we want to do with this Kingdom Hearts show? Do we want updates in these people's lives, right? So let's say Aladdin is what what are what's what's past aladdin 5 jafar needs glasses like what's after that movie you know what i'm saying what's uh, what if they try to make it canon that's a the, it, hey that'd be dope uh, that's not happening in a million years but that'd be amazing of course not. that'd if be you amazing say, you know they because we never got a world for wreck it ralph but we did get like him what if like maybe if they do a show or a movie it'd be like and then they have that as canon. Like, let's say, oh, yeah, you know, I, 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 I had to fight with these people or whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. You're acting stellar. You brought me back to the world. <laughs> Shut your ass up. <laughs> I, um, I like the idea. I like where you're going with, with more current things because we can kind of get the new generation in the Kingdom Hearts, yeah, right? Yeah. That's what we need. We need the little kids in the Kingdom Hearts, yeah, right? Us they're, old they're fucks. I know. Us old fucks, we already like Kingdom Hearts, What's right? Monstro? This <laughs> That's a good point. It's like Pinocchio, what is it? We're like we're watching this show regardless. So they need more people. Like th- literally this could be Sora getting stabbed 20 times. That would be every episode. We'll still watch what they it. They need they need to go back to the future. To the fe- I got it. Back to the future. They do a whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What? Are, okay, please, please, I cut you off like an asshole. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say they need to back in like, for example, they need us to start backstory, even though it's screwed. Okay, okay, Alex, Alex, I love where you're going with this. We can't, we can't go too fast. We'll lose people. We'll lose. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is. I love where you're going with this. This is for season. This is for season three. This is for season three. We can't be throwing out Venetus yet. <laughs> <laughs> we get- <laughs> Which of them is Sora? Uh, who's Sora in this? Oh well, this is—he's got Sora's face because he's the dark side of this Vanitas guy. Who's Vanitas? Oh, okay, let's sit back, and relax. <laughs> so Vanitas is the best. Like, like we can't, we gotta. I know you love yourself some Vanitas, but we—I don't think first episode we go Vanitas yet. <laughs> That's, that's, like, that's when you bring the fucking the YouTube black hole and people just start searching. Yeah, yeah. That, that's when you go you bring out the blackboard and start writing stuff with arrows and we call up. <laughs> you call up Matt Pat from Game Theory. He's like, "All right, we need a theory on this. What's going on?" And he explains. Yep. But yeah, I think uh, I want to see Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Tangled. Those are some nice ones. I'm curious on what they go. Like, do they just retell Kingdom Hearts 1? Which is, I mean, honestly, it's, Kingdom Hearts 1 is pretty straightforward. Um, yep. Like, it's a, it's just a straightforward story of kid gets power. Kid progresses through worlds. Kid eventually loses power to evil best friend. Evil best friend gets possessed by evil demon man. <laughs> <laughs> evil demon man. uh steals a heart of the girlfriend okay all right it's a little more complicated than i thought i guess 
But it, at the end of the day, Kingdom Hearts one pretty straightforward storyline wise. I think most people can understand it. They should bring in like why the hell is Final Fantasy? No, I like it not. I like not. <laughs> I like it not being explained. <laughs> like, like I don't understand. Like it's not part of. The- Disney and it's not part of. I mean, I guess it's Square Enix. Well, it's Square. Yeah, it was their part, right? It was. It was their like, because it was a collaboration between two. Square wanted to put their stuff in. They wanted Cloud to be in there. They're like, sell our wolf. Cloud looks so dope in Kingdom Hearts. Like that's an underrated design. Like that's like peak twenties or not twenty. Sorry, two thousands. Like dopeness. Like he went to Hot Topic for sure, and he bought all that, and then he looks dope on the playground. Yep. He looks so cool. Alex, what are your last thoughts on the Kingdom Hearts show before we end the show? We won't see it for like four years. It'll be a while. (laughs) If they're literally planning the show, it's going to be a minute. It's going to be a minute. Hopefully, we don't wait too long. Um, Alex, Mm. that's all for the news today. But Mm. I always like to slow the, at the end of the show, slow it down a little. Um, this is when we put on smooth jazz and we just talk it out. Maybe we smoke a J, maybe we don't. <laughs> Alex, I saw you tweeted out you're watching things on HBO Max. Yeah, I am. I tweeted out my watch list. I would like oh, your yeah. watch list, please. What is what is on HBO Max that compelled you first to buy it, and then second, what are you watching currently? So there's so many things that I didn't know was on HBO Max, and now I want to watch. But the first things that I wanted to watch was uh, Doctor Who. Yeah, baby. Me and uh, um, me and the wife are gonna start watching it again because we oh, lost sure. we lost the ability to watch them when they were bought by HBO Max for this uh, fucking yeah. thing. So we finally are gonna be able to watch it. Yep. Um, I wanted to watch that. Uh, I wanted to watch Friends because my wife and I love Friends. Um, but that was only on there. Um. There was another show because I literally just started adding things to my list. Um, I noticed, I didn't know, but there was um, so many of the Godzilla movies that I actually started watching that. Yeah, Um, so I actually want to watch these. I didn't know that. I didn't know any Godzilla movie was on this. I didn't know either, but I was so excited. I started watching. I was going to start with the first one, 1954. I don't know. I, I want something a little bit more you know, upscaled. Um, so I went to Mothra versus Godzilla. You know, it's a, it's a good movie. And, I, you know, it's a, it's a theme song and everything. I'm, it's it's going to do it. That sounds dope. Um, I'm watching all that, all the Jaws. I didn't know they had the Jaws on there. Good Lord. Yep. All the Jaws, um, I th- Aliens, all the Harry Potter are on there. I saw the Harry Potters. Yeah. Dude, there's, like, so much stuff. Actually... I got my handy dandy phone right here. Oh God, he's got his handy dandy phone. I, while you open the app, I will go over my watch list. Of course, Doctor Who number one. We're gonna start watching that after we finish our Critical Role, which we only need I think six episodes left of Critical Role. So we've been through, I think from uh, we've been through like seventy episodes of Critical Role. If you know what that is, it's the D and D show on YouTube. It's very good. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go straight into Doctor Who and finish that watch. Then Barry, I've heard, is really good on HBO. I'm going to try that. That is apparently a guy that's a hitman that takes up acting or mm-hmm. something. Some cra- It has a crazy premise, so I want to try it. Um, Silicon Valley, which is really funny. Um, yep. I've, I've watched the first season. I've never watched any of the other seasons, so I've been going through that. I um, watched some at work, and season two I already got through. Hilarious show. Hilarious show. Yeah. Um, if you've ever seen the clip, it's, the, it's, it's where they're trying to opt... Uh, optimally jack off 100 guys i think and they make a math equation out of it and it's like you put two dudes tip to tip and then jack them off in one like complete motion fucking hilarious um (laughs) it's hilarious teen titans of course because teen titans is on there you gotta put it on there you gotta put it on original teen titans yeah i actually um i added robot chicken and samurai jack oh samurai jack yep Did did you see that they did they make a movie or another season? I think it's another season, right? They, to was, finish it? Yeah, it was another season, and then they're actually making a game. And the game actually looks pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. I, I want to play um Jonah Hex. Oh, You've seen yeah. that, right? The, mo- the movie, right? No, 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 no. So the John Wicks are movies. I love those. I've seen all three of them. Jonah Hex, uh, 
sorry, John Wick Hex is what it's called. Why did I say John? Oh, Hex? gotcha. gotcha. John Wick said, Hex. Gotcha. It, yeah, I don't know why I said Jonah Hex. The fuck. You said Jonah Hex like the movie. I, I gotta stop awesome. doing crack before this. Um, but uh, Adventure Time is on the watch list uh, now. Not necessarily the show. This is just for when the HBO specials come out because they're re they're making three specials next year on Adventure Time, and it's kind of like updates on everyone's lives. I'm very excited for that. Um, Chernobyl, I need to finish, which is a crazy awesome show. I'm gonna bring it back. Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, oh, uh, Dee Dee. <laughs> <laughs> He was so Standard. upset. He hated you. <laughs> yeah. The, oh God. God. I, uh, I hated that um, guy. And I love these movies. They're the Studio Ghibli movies. So I'm on old. on my list, I have yep. any Studio Ghibli movie because I've never seen any of them. There's three that you have to watch, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna say watch all of them or watch different. These three, I say you have to watch. Spirited Away. That it's on there. Princess Mononoke. I've got that on there as well. And How's Moving Castle. Okay, I got that one as well. So I got, I'm three for three for the recommendations okay. from Alex. Okay. The yeah. one I've added the from the I girlfriend's have... recommendation is Kiki's Delivery okay. Service. Okay, so yeah, I, I th- those are the four Studio Ghibli movies are on the watch list that, that are yes. going to be watched. Yep. There's a bunch of movies on here I've been wanting to re-watch and watch because I've seen Tolkien, the new... Uh, the new movie about uh, J.R. To- oh, Tolkien. Okay. On here, and I've been dying to watch. Um, and then there's an old movie of, with Robert Williams. It's called Bicentennial. Man. Uh, I've heard he, that's good. I've never watched it though. Yes, it's very good. He plays as a like robot, and he winds up becoming more human as the movie progresses, and it's actually really, really good. Okay. Okay. Um, and then of course all the Godzillas, all the Jaws. I own all the Aliens, but you know, it's good just to stream it. Uh, dude, there's so much. Like, there, like it's crazy how much stuff is on here. Yeah, I I like it as a service so far. Wait, what is it? There's one downfall, and it sucks. I think what I think I was literally about to say this. You go ahead. Yeah, and it's and they said they're gonna work to work on it, but it's not available on any Amazon device or Roku device. Oh, that's so, what you know. So I wasn't gonna go into that, but it is important to bring up. Yes, so it is available on any smart TV, so you can get the app on the smart TV. Wait, because I do. It, did that just go live? Because I couldn't find that no. when I looked for it. I I got the one yesterday on my smart TV, and I'll find. I'm gonna check um, right now. The Roku devices and Amazon Fire Stick devices. I know they're not on there, but any app related things. So like, uh, you the app on the smart TVs, on your phones, on the Xbox, PlayStation, sort of things. I have it on my Xbox. That's what I was using it on. Yeah, yeah. Any Roku device or Amazon Fire Stick like that that can't they can't work it out yet. So I they, they said they're trying to get it, but I don't know how this whole deal is working. But um, but I did see that like at least I have a Samsung TV, so my Samsung smart TV does have it. I put that in the bedroom for my wife and an Xbox in the living room. One downside of all this. Mm. I am not a fan of HBO's streaming service, literally. So the actual way they stream video leaves much to be desired. No 4K and no HDR support, I think is a little ridiculous on how beautiful the shows are. Oh, I did see that. But it's crazy because even without it, though, like some shows look really good. You know, I did just say that. I was honestly impressed it 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 you know it wasn't at fullest capacity like it didn't look amazing but it looked really good for no hdr and no 4k oh, sure. i was watching silicon valley and i was watching like jesus like this doesn't have 4k but it still looks great and this is an Dude, old no. show i was watching friends and that show looks <laughs> fucking good and, like, i was watching watch. friends and that is a demanding show like this looks good the cinematography of friends is unmatched because <laughs> i have the auto motion plus on and usually my wife hates it and hopefully yeah. she doesn't listen to this because then she's gonna know that it's oh on. god I left it on. please I left it, I, i'm calling her wife <laughs> i left it on and she didn't notice it and i hope she I, don't, looks- I don't understand you as a human being. <laughs> what? It you like it, no it doesn't. It looks like they it looks like they, they have oil on their skin. It's creepy. 
No, no. The way Back me up on this audience. Back me up. Hate. Auto motion Everyone tweet. Hashtag like get Alex thing. canceled. We're canceling Alex. I'm tired of this. Alex canceled yeah, until he reverts back from this garbage trial. <laughs> look, auto motion makes it look like it's being, it's like live catch. Like kind of like, what to me, it looks like it's like, you know, like these new phones that can record 60 frames. That's what it looks like to me. To me, it doesn't bother me, but my wife hates it. I don't know you anymore. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, tweet at Alex. Hashtag, you're canceled um, until you uh, turn off that god-awful setting. And hey, if you disagree with me, tweet at me, you fucking coward. <laughs> Look, you get to see it on my TV. It looks great. I, I highly doubt I'll say that. Highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. And now, first off, I'm not allowed in your house, so I highly doubt I'll ever see this. And when I do, I won't even remember this is on, and I'll probably forget this. Bring it back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. You can find us every single Friday on the podcast service of your choosing and YouTube. Give us the likes. Give us the comments. Give us the watch time with your eyeballs and ears. That helps so much. We're trying to get off the ground. And if you like us and want to support us financially, of course, you can go over to patreon.com slash You can drop us a dollar there. You can give us five bucks extra to get everything early. A dollar to get your exclusive. You can call Alex a slur if you'd like on there. Yep. Um, he will Anything. challenge you. He will call you a slur back, though. So just be mentally prepared for that. Anything uh, helps because it will help because I'm actually saving up for a, a computer. Yeah. Alex will save up for a computer. Um, he is going to. I'm currently uh, saving for a good one. He is excited. He has sent me builds. They look very nice. Yep. I'm jealous. I will eventually upgrade my rig myself. I have a very efficient but not very strong rig. So I will eventually see, do that too. And I'm at the dilemma, and I hope maybe somebody can tweet us at this just to see what the difference is. The build that I'm getting, it's an Intel i7 processor. But I keep hearing that you should go with AMD instead of Intel. I'm not sure which is better because I've always I'm so used to with Dell and Intel that I've never really done AMD so I don't know how like what the difference which one is smoother because right now the build that I'm getting is Intel i7 with an NVIDIA GeForce uh, I think it was a 20 I think it's 20, is it 20 I think it's 2060 uh, card uh, graphics card so it's not bad but like I, I don't know what the the AMD right is in the Intel one. I, I have, know, like, I have no heard idea. AMD has come out of nowhere in uh, recent history of mm -hmm. to becoming very good. I don't know to yeah. what extent that means. I don't know if that is, uh, if it means it's preferred over Intel. I have heard a lot of people using AMD. Now this is very top level streams. These, these are very high high streamers yeah, sure. that probably dropped five grand on their builds. So I don't know if. Money is the object there, but I have heard good things about AMDs. I have not yeah. touched a rig with it on though. I have not. I have literally not touched a computer that has an AMD Ryzen in it. I can and say see, that pretty I confidently. Have, but I, I, I have. But it's like it's, it was an old computer to where I couldn't really see. I couldn't really tell if it was good or not because it was such a lower end computer. And also, um, just because I wanted to bitch. Uh, it, uh, HBO Max is not an app on LG Store yet, so everyone tweet wow. at HBO Max. Uh, get on LG Content Store so Elijah can just use the regular app in the TV because it's a lot easier than turning on. You know, you gotta turn the Xbox on, you gotta click the yeah, app. The That's two like steps. That. I can get this all down to one step with just the controller. All right, you guys gotta be with me on this. All right, don't back out on me like you did with this with with the Kingdom Hearts fiasco. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, it is uh, the RTX 2060 graphics card. I was correct. nice, nice. So nice. It's, it's good. It's a good one, and it has 16 gigs of RAM. So I, I think I'll be set once I have this. Once I have this computer in my hands, Alex, I'm excited for you, but I'm also excited for the audience because they can finally go and sit and wait in their corner until we release a new episode. Because I know that's all they do. You just, yep. you just, you're here for us and nothing else. <laughs> hey man, once I get this PC. We never know. I might start doing a little streaming. Oh, we never know. Oh, I'm excited. This PC is VR ready. Who knows? Who knows? He could. He can. He can stream himself. 
You're playing with his dogs. Yep, running, running around, running into my damn thing, uh, desk. Feed. I can't see. Playing anything. with his dogs, uh, burping his child. We'll never. The uh, possibilities are endless. Hear my dog growl, and I'll be like, "Hey." <laughs> you can hear the classic Alex. Da -da. <laughs> That is, you'll hear that plenty. Uh, uh, we've kept you here long enough. Uh, remember, uh, go play a game, and you always remember to go achieve. Go play a man here.